You are listening to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph LaRosa. Join us today for the last part of our lesson this week about the God Men of Christmas from our series called Christmas 2021 from the Gospel of Matthew. Let's look at Jesus Christ, the God Man. What happened after he fulfilled that plan? After he resurrected? Look at Philippians 2 9 and 10. Therefore, God highly exalted him, God the Father, to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Okay, and one day they will if they don't now. It's better to bow now and receive eternal life than to bow later in eternal judgment. Listen to Philippians 2.11. And that every tongue, and it will someday, every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's still deity. He's still the God-man to the glory of God the Father. God put his stamp of approval on everything he did. This is my beloved Son, and whom I'm well pleased. If in this life, listen folks, it's so important for you to understand, all of the people that mock the Bible, mock Jesus Christ, mock Christians, in some places in the world right now, they're being tortured, they're being ridiculed, and throughout history, you can go all the way back, Next year we're going to study the Apostle Paul and how he suffered and yet he had the joy of the Lord. If in this life you refuse to humble yourself and bow the knee to him as Savior so that your sins can be forgiven, you will bow the knee to him as the Lord, the judge. Right now he wants to be your Savior. He's my Lord too, but he's my Lord now because I bowed to him as the, the Lord Jesus Christ and accepted his free gift, forgiveness, eternal life, his righteousness. And if you don't bow the knee to him as Savior now and have your sins forgiven, you will bow the knee to him as the Lord on Judgment Day. Yes, right now he wants to be your Savior. But if you reject him, if you die without him, he will be your judge. So that justice will be done. That will be a fearful thing. Right now, it's a beautiful thing. You can come to me. He said, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. But if you reject that, if you refuse that, if you mock that, if you deny that, then one day you'll pay eternal consequences. So let me talk just briefly, and it's in our publication on Christmas. Let me talk about the greatest Christmas gift. You know, many people are worried about what they're going to get for Christmas. Other people are more uh, uh, like God and they want to give and that's a good thing and thank you, all of you that give. But the greatest Christmas gift is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Okay, listen to this. Jesus is the promise of Christmas. Actually, the promise started very simply way back in Genesis 3.15. It developed itself over 4,000 years of history. And then it came true. In the fullness of time, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, just like God promised. And that was a miracle, a miracle birth. And God, Jesus Christ fulfilled, Jesus being born, fulfilled the promise of Christmas. Promise, Christmas is about a birth, a unique birth, the most unique birth in all of history. And this is the gift from God the Father that assures us that if we will repent, if we will change our mind, if we will trust in God's supernatural word, if we will trust in what Christ did on the cross, if we will change our mind, all change in your life starts in your mind. In Romans 12, 2, it says, Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So repentance it's a change of mind, it changes your attitude, it changes your words, it changes your actions. It starts in the mind. Change your mind and trust in Jesus Christ. He's the only payment for the forgiveness of our sins. You know John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him 
should not perish but have eternal life? We've used John 19.30 when Jesus was on the cross. Three great words, one Greek word, tetelestai, it is finished. Your sins were paid. You have to receive this gift as a gift. You can't add one thing to it or it's not a gift. Okay? So I hope this Christmas, this, if it hasn't been true, you'll find this solution. To repent, to change your mind, and to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. That will be the greatest Christmas gift that you'll ever receive. It'll be forever. It's something you can't lose. It's a gift that just keeps on going on. Thank you for joining us this week in Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph Florosa. Jesus, the God-man, is the promise of Christmas. It is a gift from the Father so we can repent and be saved. Join us again next week on our next broadcast. God bless you, stay healthy, and Merry Christmas!